Unexpected. Come on, let's hurry. I don't even know where we are at this point. First tap. Oh. Oh. I understand how this works now. Oh boy, this place has just become even more labyrinthian. Huh. Interesting. I never even realized. So the first tower we actually went in was this tower. And then where the shop was... Like, where the shop was is what led us to go to the other tower, and that's when we got to second tower. Oh. I must have just missed that entirely. Yeah, because it definitely did not occur to me until just now. Skull necklace. One of those things that I have a bunch of. Ancient knights. Ah, oh, there's multiple kinds of these. You've got ancient knights, ancient swords, and then ancient barons. Oh, nice. I actually need the Sun Sphere for Steve. There we go, for lightning up. There's another thing down. Perfect. Might be worthwhile using up a try heal too. Oh, I'm back up to 50 at least. There we go. I think that got us near enough to full health. Don't fall behind, okay? I'm kind of just wanting to go until I get to the next checkpoint, or save point and then teleport back, just so I can explore the other paths. Yeah, it's definitely what I'm tempted to do. Oh my gosh. Can you say something new? I mean, it's not looking like there's all that much left. Like, before we get to the top of this. I could be wrong, but just looking up, it doesn't look as if there's any other flaws. But if I look down, I also can't see the the floor below. So the f there could be another floor, and it's just really, really spaced out. Whoa, okay, that kind of moved me. <laughs> that was a bit weird. Let's keep going. So now we're trying to figure out if the Ancient Knight is the weakest. Because he gets one shot straight away. With, um... Oh god. It was a bomb again. Great. Sacred Wanderer's Bow. No, the the Ancient Knight gets one shot with... Just one Desert Wind. Whereas Ancient Swords don't. And they require... Well, one Desert Wind and then a few more hits. So yeah, it seems the Ancient Knights are actually the weakest, which is not what I would expect. So Sacred Wanderer's Bow is a level 34, it's probably not gonna get better. So I'll just I'll just live with not doing anything with it. Cutscene? Oh no. I don't like where this is going. It looks like that was an elevator. But it don't exist no more. Yeah, it's been destroyed or something. But this is definitely where we need to be. Just up higher, I guess. Hmm. What the heck is going on? I mean, to be fair, this dungeon's actually been fairly straightforward. The only thing that's been labyrinthian about it is the fact it's convoluted and lots of pathways that lead nowhere. But most of which I've not even explored. Oh god, Hellcops. These are new. Oh god, they hurt. Oh boy. They also poison. Because of course they do. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, we almost missed this. What is it? Captain Sock. Love it. I'm gonna punch her. She just does not want to shut up. If only you could respond to what she said. Can we get all the way to the top? Yes, no, shush. Please. Save us all the headache. Is there a chest here? No, it's just a dead end. Indeed. So what's this say? 
Another elevator. Oh. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, I can't remember what it's called. Phobos. And if they called him Pedro. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. It was just the first name that came to mind. <laughs> Shit, it's a bunch of black balls and Pedro. Oh dear. Right, well here's the save point. Took long enough to get to it. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm never going to see that as Phobo uh, Phobos now. <laughs> it's always going to be Pedro. So I don't know if this is going to be the last teleporter. Very well might be. Oh, now I'm understanding where we are. Oh shit, where was I at last? Oh, I don't know. I think it was the second tower, and it was... Both floor? Maybe? I think so. So if I go through this... Yeah, you can actually tell which tower you're in by the colour scheme. This one's very grey. It's grey and blue. Technically, because of the colour of the elevators. Whereas tower... Tower 1 is like gold or yellow and gold I guess All right so was it here oh it wasn't oh well saw that noise I don't know where the path was that I missed oh whoops yeah go down again hmm oh it was here wasn't it God damn it, it's because I didn't step off the elevator. Oh man, we're riding it twice. Because I made a mistake. Wait, how the hell would a stone elevator even work? I wonder where this is. Unless it's literally just being pulled up on a string, but that would be a bit too heavy, I would have thought. Can I just use this straight away, please? I always forget the map doesn't update until you step off of the elevator. So that was a, a my bad. Are we there yet? Not quite. God, it takes us up so high. Right, here we go. So it's straight ahead is where I didn't go before. I can't believe we're doing a favor for a ghost. Alrighty. So second tower, fifth floor. From the looks of things, it actually just leads straight over to there. But I mean, it's it's fine. I kind of just want it uncovered. That's Peace really of mind. And all that stuff. Another chest. Oh, oh wow, I've not gotten one of those in fucking ages. Literally, so many people need it. Does she need it for anything? I mean, I'm checking around before I use... Not before I do anything. And she does not. She just requires Stella Crystals. What does she require? A lot of stuff that we've just not... found. Well, that's something that I won't be getting for a while. That's the Crystal Staff. Hmm. Who needs it more? I'll go with him. Just because Digo's had that for so long, and it will actually lead to getting... More things uncovered. Never mind. It requires another skull. <laughs> oh man, this didn't even uncover anything. If I want to uncover the rest, I'd have to go all the way around, I suppose. No, that wouldn't even work. Oh well. I tried. So now I'll just go back to the elevator. Back down and then teleport back over. To the first tower. Hmm. What are we fighting? Ancient swords! Oh, okay. It looks like I just tripped over a rock. Oh, no. I mean, I should probably heal, but... Oh, God. Yeah, they sorted it out. I'm not healing when there's a teleporter really close. Yeah, I've got guaranteed full heal. I'm trying to think who Jaster reminds me of. In this 
And it's mostly the bandana. Where's a red bandana? Isn't that a character from Wind Waker? Is it Nico? Is it Nico that wears the red bandana? Or is that somebody else? I don't know, it just really reminds me of a Zelda character. <laughs> No, so the first tower, fifth floor. There we go. And so this is the highest point so far. It probably goes even higher. I also have some points I can exchange. Aha! You know, my rank is not going to be changing for... I'm actually way closer to this than I thought. I need to kill... Oh, cross one more thing off. Wow. I didn't realise it was so close. Literally 500 points. Jeez. But I don't know how the... the Hunter points work, and like when they get updated. I don't know if they get updated every... chapter, or something. No, they can't, because it's happened in the past where... I've turned, or I've exchanged points, and then my ranking has gone down, and I've not changed chapters. At least I don't think I had. Maybe I had and I just didn't realise. Yeah, well, let me out. We're still not at the same point as the star. So this is the sixth floor. Let's hurry and persuade the two princes. How many floors are there? Ooh. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna say I'm not really a big fan of this. Of that room with a bunch of just statues staring at me. Oh her bird feather. That makes up what I used in the factory earlier. Right, yeah, just explore literally everything. Leave no stone unturned. Oh, shape. Oh, dear. Great, that took me ages to actually even hit him. I started attacking from way too far away. Oh, yeah, get decked. Divine protection! Oh, my God, I've needed that for a, a lot of things. Dreamflower Ash. And perfect heal! Oh man, I'm glad I got three of those, because I think I've used that many in this in this dungeon. Everybody requires divine protection. So fate passion. Does she not need it for anything? Oh no, she does. She needs it for Starlink to Venus. Which is the attack with Lilac, is it not? But that requires so much stuff. Four leaf clover, the rose, and then divine protection. Is there anybody that can use it and actually unlock an ability? I mean, he can. It's poison defense, but whatever. Uh. Oh, well. Hmm. I think, if anything, it's probably Jupus, because that actually unlocks something. Doesn't go any further, though. I just realized. I mean, it did unlock that, but wasn't really useful aside from that. So the Ancient Barons have a chance of dropping Divine Protection. Good to know! I mean, I would say that's something that's really hard to come by, but... Come Let's hurry. It's not that hard to come by. I thought it was our chest. Oh. Must have been seeing things. Now, I'd gotten it a few times when I was just doing off-screen stuff, but I don't remember what I got it from exactly. It may have been when I was in Badan. But, yeah, I have no idea. Well, there's another! Maybe it's not so hard to come by. You literally just have to fight the Baron. Oh. Oh! Never mind, that wasn't a mistake. Oh, shite. No! Oh. Two Guardian Spheres. And four Stamina Extracts. Right, time to bust out the perfect heal. Oh, there. I've used up more than three, I think. Yeah, for sure. Why is it so many bomb traps now? The one time I would try and defuse a bomb trap is when it will be a thief trap, and I will lose so much of my money. So I'd rather just keep taking the bombs. 
What is with all these like destroyed statues anyway? It's weird, they look like they're made of steel, but then they also just look like they're made of rock. Oh dear. They have a ranged attack too? Oh bullshit. They got kind of messed up. Another chest. Pretty rough. Everyone okay? We'll be fine. I might need to use a resurrection in the next battle, but I'm sure we'll be fine. So, the star is still higher. Oh my. It's like you're just going up and up and up and up and up. I still don't understand why she says that. It just makes it sound strange, because it's like... The princes are the Libra King's sons. Yeah, I don't know, it's... At least I'm assuming. What the? Red Jellyman? Oh, suck a dick. Can he use the barrier break shot? Really? So change sub, not th change to an actual good weapon. I'll just use a regular. I needed that. I needed that. And we're good. That's the end of that. More divine protection. Red jellyman. Why? I don't mind them, but jeez. I should hate the fact that I have to, you know, break the flow of combat to equip a sub weapon just to be able to take them out. Yeah, I wish we just had an ability that could destroy barriers. We're not that would be path, we? much, much nicer. Oh, shite, it's another one of these. Pick and choose. Uh, whatever. I'll just have to go back and go over the one that has... Actually, this one might not be the elevator. I'm just always assuming that it is. But <laughs> it probably will be the one with the elevator. Knowing my luck, I have a knack for picking the wrong way. I heard that in ancient times there was a way to separate the soul from the body. Although I will say, wrong way for me, right way for the game. Oh, it's a red bolt. Isn't that just a yellow? It's the same as the yellow bolt. I think. Just obviously it's it's red. Alright. This is actually a surprising amount of enemies in this area. And this is where the elevator is, because of course. Fuck. As I say, I'm very good at choosing the right uh, the wrong way. Wrong way in my mind, the right way in the game. Yes, I don't want to do that, I want to go to the other path. Thankfully it's not all that far away, so won't take too long. Emodia. Oh, funny I could have gotten a blueprint from a... from a spirit. That would have been the best. Hmm. And this will probably just lead to a dead end. Okay, good. Ancient Barons is what I want. I don't want to go against the Jellymen. Just because they're a pen. Oh, dear. Dark music box. Don't know. I don't think anybody needs one of those. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's divine protection. Okay. Shoot. Who can I give it to? I'll give him death break. Why not? There's that. It also requires that shell thing that I don't know what it is. Wait, what? Oh, divine protection. There we go. I mean, I'm getting quite a lot of divine protection. Oh, right, yeah, I have multiple. Of course I do. There we go, that's everything. Most part is, with Kasala, I don't even know if she needs to use it. Because for the most part, she's only flashing because of... the stellar crystal. This is not a mimic. I'm surprised. An ancient scroll too. 
bit pointless now. Everybody's had Burning Strike level 2 for a very long time. What the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of wonder what happens if your entire party goes down. Does it pull a Final Fantasy XII and just allow you to swap in substitutes? Or is it just game over? I'm assuming it's just game over because you can't swap Jester out. I mean, you should just be able to bring in two sub-characters then. And continue f continue the fight that way. It would probably make things too easy. I suppose. Path, yeah, it probably would. Oh well. That was one thing that was quite nice with Final Fantasy XII though. Is the fact that if your party got wiped out, as in the three people you had on you, or were using, then you were able to just switch to a different character. Or to a different party. I don't want to save over that, jeez. Because like one of the good strategies to do is if they got wiped out, you'd bring in one of the sub-characters, use a phoenix down on one of the characters that was downed from your main party, and then just carry on that way. But it was just a very nice um, way of doing it. It made it quite simple to cheese quite a lot of stuff too. <laughs> I think Kasawa's stretching just moved me out of the way. I'm waiting to see if the star changes. To being yellow. Oh, frame rate. It's still blue. Oh, wait. It's still blue. So that did not change. More chests. So, seventh floor. I mean, I'm trying. Oh, lowering lamp. The other Thunder Shield. I don't know why that shocked me so much. I just didn't know what it was. Fuck me. It's Pedro. Oh dear. Yeah, he's definitely not as powerful as the Great Raider. I mean, it could just be the fact that we're higher level now. But when you got hit with a Great Raider, or by a Great Raider, it did like 260 damage. And that only does like 193. Still a lot. But not as much as the Great Raiden. But as I say, that could just be because we've leveled up a bunch. Since that time, probably about 10 or so levels, I'd say. I don't actually know how many levels I have leveled up since that time. But it's been quite a few. Uh, oh, it's Agent Barons. Ow. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, I died. Shit. I just got gangbanged. Oh, well and truly gangbanged. You don't need to use Blast Arrow. Oh, no divine protection. What a shame. It's Massimo. The Libra King made a big mistake. The war wouldn't have happened if only he'd appointed one of the two as his successor. His sons fought over power. Not over who would succeed the throne. It's definitely what it sounds like. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Yeah. Unfortunately. Is this going to lead us over to the other side? Traditional work suit. Is that Simon's? Kind of looks like it. I mean, if I go into my inventory, or items, and then sort them. If it gets put with Simon's stuff, then it's Simon's. Hey, it's Simon's. No matter how laid back you are, once you put this baby on, you'll be ready to work all night. Sure, why not? It doesn't change his headgear, it just... Oh, I haven't... saved. I mean, I have saved. It's just... How are we doing health-wise? Uh, right, we're okay now. It's, I don't even know if I have the item. To lower out the creature from a thousand years ago, now born, reborn as a beast. Oh, hold to the sky that which can restore your entire crew's HP and AP. Really? The perfect elixir. Really? What a weird thing for me to use. Oh, it's the bull. Lepognong Mammoth. 
The Tower Predator. Oh boy. Alright, why are you gonna cry? Oops. And then Illusion Sword. It's my usual. I should probably lock on too. I know this thing will charge. Oh, I'll do that. And we did it. Okay, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Got some genocide beams. And I can turn that quarry in. Cha-ching! Well, I'm definitely going to be rank 8. It might boost me up to rank 7. I, hope nothing gets in our way. I mean, to get from rank 8 to 7, like, the difference was, like, 15,000, maybe? I didn't really pay too much attention. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Can use that to recover some health. Boink. And a boink. Kasala didn't even get hurt. What? Wow. Of all the people that didn't get hit, Kisala was one of them. Not that one. So that is, it's 13,000. So that would put me up to 233. Three, two, three. Hey, it would. I'll be rank 7. Nice. I mean, if I can do the other one, it might boost me up to rank 6. But I don't know where the other one is. Not particularly. I have a feeling to get to the other one, I have to go through the right tower. So I think the way this dungeon is, is, is it's split up in such a way that you have to go through both towers to be able to access we all of it. It certainly seems that way. I mean, I don't really mind it being split up in such a way, but... It also kind of sucks. But yeah, that was, um... Surprisingly easy. Oh dear. To be fair. Oh, there's another. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't know there was another Red Baron. What a weird summoning item, though. Yeah, of all the things I could use. <laughs> use something that recovers your entire crew's HP and AP. Why the hell would that, of all things, summon a mammoth? It's got a thing for Elixis. Yeah, it's a very, very strange summoning item. I would say the other ones at least make some sort of sense, but... I mean, to be fair, they kind of don't. Ah, oh, great, three of these fucking things. I did not want to jump. I just got decked. No, they're all barrierless. Woo! I'm just really hoping there's not more than a red jellyman. Like, we had the jellyman on Vidan. I just really hope there's not more than the red one. Like, red, green, yellow. That would suck. I just don't like having to switch my sub weapon halfway through a battle. As I say, if I could just have an ability that did it, that would be perfect. Hmm. What I do want to do is find a save point. Here they come. No, actually, not that. Uh -oh. oh, God not fucking good. Jesus. It's Baroque. Great game on PS2. Very hard game on PS2. Oh, great, that's a barrier shot. That does not work. Oh yeah, we made it. Okay. Through sheer force of will. We're gonna have trouble getting yeah, I don't see no save point, so... If I saw one around the corner, I wasn't gonna heal. But yeah, nothing showed. There we are. So in this place so far, we've only come across one Mimic. But a lot of... a lot of trapped chests. Mirror unit. Hmm. Another forbidden add-on. It's just weird that the Mimic has been something that we've encountered the least. But Trap Chest has, like, it shot up by, like, 300% in terms of how frequently I'm coming across them. Totally well, here's the elevator. Save point two. Aha! 
is indeed. Fuck. Nope. Oh, you fuck. I always forget how that attack works. I keep thinking I can stun it so it won't get to do it. But it never works. Either way, boink. So, exchange points. That's all. Aw, oh, man. I still get to rank 7. Woo! What do I get? A flame shield. Two hunter coins. A storm shield. Two hunter coins. Very nice. How many am I at? I think I'm near 60, so I might be able to get a uh, platinum thing too. Where are they? I'm at 56. Not far off. Either way, it's been two hours. I think I've made a fair bit of progress through this place. But that is going to be the end of this session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.